Yep. There we go. So, Rodrigue is getting eaten by a shark. Oh no! Yay! We're gonna need I a need bigger you to roll. boat. Wait, he's Iron Man! We're gonna need a bigger boat. I'm gonna need you to roll a DC H7 to prevent shark attack. <laughs> DC H7? 87, yes. Alright, so last time we left did it. off, he did we it. ran he like a bitch. I made it. <laughs> I didn't make it. You didn't, no. Nice. Very nice. Alright, so anyway, yeah. Last we left off, y'all bitched out of the cave and decided to throw a dead body at these orcs who then proceeded to throw themselves in the water and then throw the dead body in the water and burn it. Apparently. Mm-hmm. And the funeral music is still playing. But that's good. Oh, oops. Traditional orcish funeral music. Oh. Uh, and wrong. that means... The wrong time. I guess we're done mourning. So yeah, we wanted to go back to the shore. Which is what I call the ship. <laughs> now that we're back on the shore, let's go back oh, to the arm. shore. So you're not going back down in the cave? No, we wanted to go back on land and just have a proper rest and level up and stuff. Because go well, going, okay. going down the caves like half prepared and out of, well, basically useful things, kind of, yeah, kind of stupid. Plus okay. We, plus, we already lost like one guy. Yeah, and almost two. Yep. So. So is Mitchell not playing anymore? And where's he's Josh? On a, he's on a road. Uh, Mitchell's on a road trip, and. Oh yeah, Mitchell's on a road also trip. Also, apparently, there's Father's Day yep. or something. I wouldn't know. Let's not talk about Father's Day. Yeah, it's like Fight Club. Squirrels. <laughs> First, first rule of Father's Day, you don't talk about Father's Day. But yeah, we're going back to... Uh, back to land, back to the, the beach, I guess? I don't know. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Wherever we can actually, like, park the boat. Yes. That's that, that's Buttercup's nautical expertise speaking there. She goes, okay, let's put this thing in reverse and go back home. Well, the uh, remaining orcs shrug and look at each other and then decide that they're going to jump out and push the boat backwards. Works for me. How many of them drown while doing so? Um, all of them. No. They eventually get tired and say, fuck this. And then actually start fucking sailing the boat. And then Gilligan got back to, back to the beach. Yep. Is that noises? Yeah. I'm making lunch. I'm trying not to be loud. Well, it's not working. Zephy's, Zephy's background noise always sounds like a cheap science fiction film. It sounds like a Either what? that or an average anime. <laughs> <laughs> so we're back on the beach? Don't be mean to me. Yeah. I'm gonna be mean to you. <laughs> I mean, I realize I do it to myself, but... <laughs> Let's see... Margarita mix... I'm waiting. So, yeah, I guess. So just... y'all hit the beach. Yeah, we just I guess we. I want to just go back to. Like we the... kind of need Red, to try and to separate that. out the loot, anyways. Yeah, I just want to go back to the village and find the sort of dry place. 
So going back to the town. Yeah. I remember. It was once a city. Yeah. I re was there an inn or was that flooded? Um, the inn's flooded. The closest you got is or was the uh, the Church of Saint Cuthbert. Uh, I guess we go there then. So yeah. You remember how I just said was, right? Yeah. Well, long story short... Let me um, guess, it's not there anymore. Oh no, it's still there. It's just the water level has ro risen enough to um, flood to the... To flood uh, it. Yeah. Oh, great. Okay, you know... So, what, uh, oh, what okay. about the church? That's what I was just talking about. Just... Oh, I thought we were talking about an inn. No, there is no inn here that you've found. Oh, okay. Anyway, what about what about the people who were supposed to pay us for eradicating the fish people? Are they still there? Yeah, they're totally swimming around in the church. Now nah, they evacuated. Yeah, but are they still in the vicinity? Probably. Like, are they are they still around in the town? Mm, probably. What would I have to roll to find? them for anyone you have to be literate i am sort of literate sort as, of literate as long as the words are not too long hey buttercup can totally read the a is for apple book by now okay up to a certain point great then does it does it stop at B? No. <laughs> Can she only read up the letter B? No, she's working her way through it. Okay, she has a bookmark in like at like H. At like H. <laughs> it takes time to read. <laughs> so, yeah, there's a note on the door. Um, it was. I hope that note is above the waterline. <laughs> it was. <laughs> hmm. Right now, like a third of it's under the water. What does it say? We regret to inform you that. <laughs> <laughs> what does the note say? The note says. something. Um, it says. Thanks. gone until further notice. If you are seeking respite. Join us on the cliff. Uh, I mean, we could go to the cliff, but. Uh, Do we even know where said cliff is? Well, it's a cliff, it should be easy to find, wouldn't it? There's actually really only one cliff around you yeah. right now. Alright. Cool. Because our. Where the fuck? Hey, question. You can't do the whole mansion thing, can you? What do you mean? The mansion? Yeah. Oh, that is so not a fourth level spell. Yeah. Oh, okay. I mean, that's... I'm just double checking. I mean, the, the cliff... You're like eighth level. Oh, okay, the cliff, does it look... dry? Um... Define dry. Can I walk up there without making splash noises in the ground? Mm hmm. Let's go to the cliff then. Alright. Fuck water. <laughs> Bad enough of water. Your message has been received. So, anyway. Yeah. Um, you walk up the cliff. As you're walking uh, up the yeah. cliff. You can s the uh, view of a lighthouse remains in constant view, but as you crest the uh, the top of the hill to the cliff, um, there's several tents. What looks to be a uh, larger building in progress. Um, 
You can see most everyone from the uh, church from before, along with several new faces. At least new to you guys. Uh, just to be be a bit drone savvy here. The cliff, how easily climbable does it look? How easily climbable? Yeah, like from the water side. Suppose some of those fish people come back. Could they climb up there? Mm, they'd have a hard time of it, but I guess it could be done. Alright, let's keep that in mind. <coughs> I don't trust those fish people. Oh, come on. No, we killed a lot of them. I don't trust them. Why they are you being so shellfish right now? <laughs> Shut it. Don't you give me that carp. Well, <laughs> uh, one of the actually diplomatic people should, should you know, talk to those people, I guess. Like I yes, I could. Maybe I was thinking more of Roderick or Karsh. Well, you then. <laughs> I have a plus four diplomacy. Yeah, but you're you. What about me? Exactly. At this point, I would trust the right. llama more. What <laughs> about <laughs> the llama? You hear from behind you is. Um, Alexander finally makes his way up to where you guys are. <laughs> He's not hey, there. walking uphill in armor is kind of kind of sucks. <laughs> but I have just basically jump skipped up there, being way too happy. I will lead these dumb sons of bitches up to the cliff. Okay. And then jump down. So, just end it all. Where do you go? Do you go to the tents? Do you go to the uh, uh, building being built? Or do you go to the lighthouse? Well, I'm going to go to the building will... being built. Okay. Don't care about the rest. <laughs> I was going to say, oh, I'm going to give a quick cursory glance around to see if I recognize any uh, other guild mages. Um, at a first glance, no. All right, I will then. allow you to take some time once you reach a place to uh, try to gather information. <laughs> I totally don't have skills in. Anyways, um, then I will head to the building being built. Okay. <laughs> is gather information? Alexander is... Not coming with you to the building being built. He is, in fact, going over to the tents. That's fair. Hey, is gather information to gonna go molest him some children? Well, not with Enbin there to uh, keep an eye on him. Is Unless... It, does gather information need, uh, like, ranks in it to be used or not? Yes. Uh, Damn it. It's an un, it is an untrained skill, actually. Oh. Yeah. Because... Well, to be reliable, you need ranks in it. Well, the nine. Yes. <laughs> Buttercup's get information is basically, hey, how you doing? That's a nice hat, where you get that? Decent word today, isn't it? Just small talk? That's just, just the worst small talk, yeah. That's for gathering information. Sounds about right. So that guy told me the weather is fine today. Can we do anything with that information? Um, is gather information trained? Or can we use it untrained? We just talked oh about that. Oh my god. We just talked Zephy. about that ten seconds ago. Zephy. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna need you to do us all a favor. I want you to reach up to either side of your head. And I want you to pull the cocks out of your ears. And listen to the conversation going on. That is one long cock. And he has two of them? Wow. Well, I mean, with such little inside his head. <laughs> what? I'm sorry, Zephy, that was low. That didn't even make sense. I got a 15. I was calling him empty-headed. Yeah, well, he had more than me. 
Point is, 15. All right. <laughs> so, when you get to the, uh, the in progress, uh, I'm looking for another place to stay. For us to stay. P building. Um, you, uh, notice that there are some big burly men just trying to hold up one of the walls as another group of men just tries to push the other wall on top. They're up to it and brace them together. Mm -hmm. How A powerful gust of wind blows and threatens to topple over the side that's already up. Okay. If you would like, you can go ahead and give me a reflex save. Yeah, I kind of want to try and help them. Give me a second. Um, and of course, Roderick, if you want to do anything magical since you uh, went there uh, too. Can, can, I, can, I uh, cast feather, can I cast Featherfall okay. on objects? Okay, could, so could you give me a quick rundown on what just happened? Because I was fucking around with my speakers. Right. Okay, Zephy. Um, not you, Zephy. Can I cast, you, Zephy. Can I cast so, feather ball on objects? I don't know. Give me a moment. I'm looking. I'm gonna look it up. Yeah, please do. So, let me put it like this: That's a wall. That's a wall. This one is the one that they're trying to put up. This one is the one that's being blown over. Okay. So, the the one on the side is the one being blown over? I'm sorry, I wasn't looking at the screen. There's I was looking at... Screen. I was looking at the spells. My on spells. The screen. There is something on the screen. There's arrows. I drew them a little diagram to explain all this. Oh, there's a wall falling down. Um, Point is, there's a wall falling down. Yes. You got yes. it. Solve the problem. Um, the eleven is, is the not enough. Yeah, I guess. to get there in time. Uh, you can cast fe uh, featherfall can be cast on objects if they're free falling. Okay, so well, this I mean, one's pretty much free falling. Then it can be it cast is? on it. But I need a reflex save in order for you to cast the spell. That that's fine. I'm looking at my reflex. To see what it is. Well, uh, seventeen. Hey, that's enough. Okay, I will cast feather fall on the wall to make it fall slower. Yeah. Well, you see people diving out of the way, trying to get away from this wall that's about to crush them, and about as it's about halfway down, it just kind of just. Stops a little bit and just gently and slowly falls. The people that are remaining hold it up. And the other people who dove out of the way come back. A couple of people noticed you do that. And one of them gives a thumbs up as the other comes up to you. I'm going to go to those I'm other people. I'm giving a thumbs up. I'm, yeah. I'm going to go to those other people and help them with the ball. Okay. May as well use those that brute muscle thing I got going on. Right. So yeah, um this human yeah. comes up to you and uh wipes some oh sweat goodness, off his brow invisible. as he comes up. We're not on the chair. Oh my no, goodness, fellas. he's invisible. I don't know how y'all did that. I got a couple of guesses, but Point is, y'all saved a few hides today, and knowing how many hides we've already lost to so that damn ocean. Thank you. It's definitely nice to see that people are doing something to help out around here. Yes. Um, we were the expeditionary force that were just tasked with dealing with the Sahagan. Um, we've... Well, we've run into some occurrences, and we are currently looking for a place to bed down and prepare for our next invasion, so to speak. Next invasion? 
Golly, sounds like y'all found the heart of the problem. Did you deliver? Sounds like that's they got a hold of the right people. Did you deliver our peace treaty to them? <laughs> peace treaty. Them scaly sons of bitches don't deserve our peace. <laughs> Yes, well, either the Sahagin uh, the have some sort of direct hand in this, or they're simply taking advantage and they're acting as raiders and bandits. Either way, it's going to be a problem solved. Anyways. Well, so long as you get them, sons of bitches. <laughs> Want to see another of their damn scales again. I'm waiting for the guy to like pull out a banjo and sing us a song about it. Oh, let, me, let me sing you the tale of the Sahagan scum. Coming in here taking our jobs and our women. Well, they took one. You know, technically they actually did. <laughs> and some of their men. That's actually, good. a lot of their men. Hey, I'm not judging. Anyway. So, well, he'll uh, kind of do this nod over to the uh, the group of tents that's on the other side of the road that you guys are on. It's like the b b the almost built building and the tents are bisected by the road that leads to the lighthouse. Anyway, um. He nods over across the way and uh, says, Well, if you were hired by the church, I reckon them folks would be over there. Um, well, hell. Yes. Honestly, I don't know who else would have hired you around here. We were, well, most of my companions were tasked with, were tasked by the church. I was sent by the Arcane Order, although I will not uh, plague you in acquiring them any guild mages exist in this premises. I'll I will have saws of the church. Actually, hold on. Oh? You say you're one of them magic types. A lot of them magic types like to go to the lighthouse. I don't know why. I've never had much I never put much stock into it, but all them fancy magic types with the spiky shoes, the tall hats and the long rods, the nubby end. I see. Thank you, good sir. Mm -hmm. Good day and good luck with the uh, building. Good luck with being. Say, there. after you're done up there, uh, you want to give us a hand with this thing? The more hands we can get on it, on getting this thing up, the sooner we can all have a roof. Very well. If I have time, I'll lend my aid. Ah, much appreciated. Mm -hmm. And then he turns around and goes back to the building. I could change myself oh. into a bugbear. That is the worst idea. You should change yourself into a Sahagan. Oh, hey, there's this village, there's this uh, refugee camp of villagers who've been plagued by Sahagan. Hey, let me turn into a fucking bugbear. <laughs> Just sounds, ruin everybody's day. Sounds about right. I'm trying to, I'm trying to figure out something that would be, oh, wait, that's right, my ability stats don't change. If I use Alter Self. Just. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the worst bugbear. You know what? Buttercup will lend them, hand, lend them a hand. Just help with the fucking wall and stuff. I thought she was already doing that. Yeah, I mean the rest too. Just, she's gonna help building the house. Alright. Uh, go ahead and give me a... Um, um, professing Carpentry. <laughs> I don't have that. Surely there's a carpenter there who can just tell me what side of the, the wall to hold and when to let go. Well, depending on how well you do on this one. I mean, I believe profession skills can be used on train, right? Yes. All right. See? There you go. Depending on what they are. What's, that, uh, what's the modifier Ant. on that? Uh, all profession skills are wisdom. Oh, wisdom. Oh, I thought it was in. Fine, yeah. then. I would like to use profession hitman and kill everyone. That is not how that works. Four. <laughs> so you walk up. You say, hey, I can chop some wood. 
So yeah. you start chopping wood. The wall falls over again. How is that? That it's is so another fall again. Because you I chopped down falls. the support beam. No, I wouldn't. That is stupid. I wouldn't do that. There's a there's well, a dude told you to get some wood, and so you got some wood from the closest place. There's a diff okay. Okay. A I'm four, not butter right? damaged. Okay. <laughs> cup is not that four. stupid. Yeah, he was just completely ineffectual and unsurprisingly useless. <laughs> fine, fine, fine. <laughs> Look, um, after trying to... Uh... Buttercup Alexander, he didn't tell her. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that makes perfect sense. Alright. <laughs> Strawberry. So yeah, um... Your efforts... Unfortunately, are negligible oh. in the uh, re uh, building of this structure. I tried, though, and that's what counts. <laughs> mm hmm. Ow. Okay, pretty goddamn useless. That's what I got told in half orc school. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, Bada Cup, you're going to be occupied for the next two hours. Yep, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Um, I guess I will follow Roderick to the lighthouse, if he's going to the lighthouse. Okay. And Alexander yeah. and Enbin are already in the, uh, camp. Wonderful. So, as you're walking up to the lighthouse, the lighthouse looks tall and imposing, bright light on top, just like a lighthouse should. That's a bit... Presumptuous, tell the lighthouse how it should look. It's a Not really that. tall thing with the light on top. Yeah, the how? And how, gonna... how? How? How much further do you want me to go? Next, you're gonna say it needs to lose weight, needs to dress a certain no. way. I don't know. Oh. Not okay with that. It doesn't For need fuck's to lose sake, weight. I open the door. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so, God, inside. You see a uh, small little waiting room like thing. Just a little place to sit down and relax. A few chairs, a bench, some small table. Some magazines. Lighthouse Weekly. No, no magazines. Apparently, there's a reception room and a lighthouse. All right. Maybe the church. New. Took, maybe the church uh, like took control over it for the time being. Maybe. Well, there is. Uh, but would there be enough something space for all the, the people, though? There, something at the desk. Um, is there a is tiny there bell a... that I can smack with my hand <clears throat> that God. will ring? Is there um, a person at the desk? Maybe. Why don't you go up and talk to him? Well, I'm not going to go talk to there the was a person. There's a person at the desk that I'll be able to talk to a person. Maybe it's not a person, but an elf or something. Uh, another an elf. Another elf. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe it's a bugbear. I, uh, <laughs> I don't know. What the is front it with front you, desk. Today? you walk to the front desk. You hear a gentle snoring. Look, I uh, peer over the front desk. What do we see with our special eyes? Uh, you see a couple, uh, pair of feet just hanging out from uh, underneath the desk. I will lightly tap the desk to wake him up. Him or her. I will nudge the dude. I will nudge this person's feet with my uh, staff. Nudge, nudge, nudge. Now you see that gets his attention. More than tapping uh, on the desk. Uh, uh, what, uh, oh, 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 God. Uh, no. Um, you hear a, a rustle, a thump, a clang, and just a little bit more rummaging, and then all of a sudden, you see this tiny little head just pop up. It's another gnome. Oh. Good day. Oh, hey, uh, sorry. I didn't expect to see anyone today. Um, yeah, hi. Uh, welcome to, uh, welcome to the lighthouse. Are you here for yes. the OG? Five fucking minutes. Anyways. 
I was told that there might be uh, practitioners of the Archimach, and I came searching for Gildamages. My name is Roderick Silverson of the Arcane Order. And I am Taldern, he who walks in the Path of Thunder. You just made that up. I did. I'm marking on a title. <laughs> you know what? I like it, he says to Taldern. Well, I suppose you have to start somewhere. I will shake his hand happily. <laughs> At least someone here has good taste. The two of the the two pairs of tiny hands meet and a powerful bond is formed. <laughs> Together we can do anything. Midget so anyway. friendships, yeah. Yeah <laughs> So anyway, um after that whole spiel, um to laugh and sigh. Well, uh, I guess um you said that you're with the Arcane Order? And you were well, looking for guild is. mages, and you were doing some magic am... stuff, and Correct. I guess you want to go see him, huh? Yes. All right, take the stairs to the right. Thank you for your time. All right. I'll head up the stairs on the right. As you try to go up the stairs, you are blocked. Uh, right. You run smack face first into... Some force. So an invisible wall is what you're saying. Kind of. <sighs> well, I never said it'd be easy. Right then, how do I get past the wall of force? Now, if I told you, that'd ruin the test. <laughs> Um, question. Answer. If a blink dog teleports, if anything is holding onto it, will that will that person also teleport with the blink dog? Zephy, please focus on the matter at hand. I am. I can see him it's doing that. It's a legitimate question. I, I can see doing him doing that in character for him. Just annoying Roderick with the questions. Ah, uh, well, he is going on the same line of thought that I am. Not that blink, blink dogs are not able to carry along passengers. However, I will cast wall. Uh, not I will not cast wall of detection. I will cast detect <laughs> magic. <laughs> wall of detection. Wall of detection. Definitely magic. Yes, I will then use it to gauge the uh, how far the wall goes into, and I will put a hand on top of Taldern's head and cast dimension door. Get past the wall. Okay. Whee! Well, uh, the wall wasn't very thick at all. Um, don't forget, you're also carrying the bird too. So the bird. Li I don't know. I don't know if that would affect distance or whatever. It doesn't, since technically. Uh, no, you're... I have the uh, carrier capacity to carry you and the bird. And yep, Karsh. Bird just okay. gets lost into the ether between you and the bird. Wait, you mean Karsh is in here with us right now? Of course. Of course. Yep. Look, he's a, strong, he's a strong, independent winter wolf who can go wherever he pleases. Karsh may be large size, but he's still just a wolf. He can fit into most places fairly easily. Oh, just yeah. a wolf now. I see. I see. And, uh, um... Fuck right off. The or... blink dog dimension door only affects the blink dog. Okay. Yep. I just wanted to double check. Yep. Okay. What if the blink dog bites it's... into you? And then teleports. Um, Still only affects the blink dog. Punk that he bit out would just kind of like fall to the ground as he blinks away. Hmm. Anyway, back to the matter at hand. Y'all pass the stairs, and y'all go up about what feels like three or four stories. Well, and then I'm, a lizard. I'm used to going up to. I'm used to walking up towers. I well, just follow behind, trying to keep pace, but really my pace is kind of me having to run upstairs. I will, you're, you're just I will like take a little the stairs kid, one just... step at a time to uh, allow Taller to keep up. Alright. 
So, yeah, um, as you reach the what feels like the fourth story, um, the stairs end in a small platform that juts out well, past the stairs. Like, up from the wall a little past the stairs. And it just stops. Huh. Uh, how far is the gap? Is there, like, a thing, a gap on the other side? No. Or is there, like, sorry, a platform on the other side? No. Well. Detect, detect magic is still in effect. Yeah, yeah, I mean, this whole staircase is radiating with magic. <sighs> All right. There's an audible sigh. They, of course, they had to send these folk to deal with the problem. Nothing's ever fucking easy. I roll a spellcraft to attempt to determine the effect of the spell, or effect of the magic that is radiating. Um, give me a moment. Roll 25, by the way. Yeah. See, this is how normal people feel around wizards. I really need to update my uh, Adobe Acrobat. What are you using? Adobe Acrobat. I mean the version. I have no idea. Okay. He's using a version. Yeah. Um. Oh, right. So what, what are you thinking, Connor? You thinking you're thinking illusion wall? Uh, it could be any number of things. So it, okay. it's transmutation. The aura is weak transmutation. Right. Um, I'm gonna stick. I'm gonna just like stick my hand forward, see if like it disappears into nothingness. Nah, you wave your hand around like a fool and nothing happens. I meant, like, past the game. I, the... I know, I know, okay. I know. Got it. Oh, it's not... It's not an illusion wall, that's for sure. Can I not determine what is... What the uh, transmutation or aura is having effect on? The transmutation aura... It has been following you since you came up the stairs. After we pass the wall of force, it just kind of just lingers in the air. You think maybe it was just meant to be an endless staircase to nothing? That or someone is getting the rocks off, leading us around on a wild goose chase. And seeing as how I am rather impatient at the moment, I am perfectly fine with leaving and taking the credit for anything that may come along with this job. It's up to you. <sighs> Might as well humor I've... them for a little while longer. Fucking bastards. Teehee. <laughs> This is how non-magical types feel about feel around uh, wizards. Uh, these guys are just straight up assholes. Yeah, that's what I mean. <laughs> like, they're the assholes of wizard society. Anyways, I will look down at the platform. Mm -hmm. uh, is there any magical auras coming off of there? Mm -mm. Like so, I uh, said. So the platform well, is the one no thing more so than any of the other stairs or the walls. But like I said, this entire place just seems to radiate the the transmutation. Hmm. Right. Hmm. I think I have an idea. Okay. Um, I will roll spellcraft to see if the transmutation or as from the from materials that's changed by magic. Um. Twenty-seven. 
And what were you checking for? The uh, material? things you can identify with. Uh, identify materials created or shaped by magic, such as noting that an iron wall is a result oh. of a wall of iron. Okay, yeah, no, nothing. Nothing has been changed by the magic. Hey, Roderick? Yes? What if we're going upstairs, but not actually going upstairs? That is possible, although that'd be more on the lines of conjuration or illusionary. Something's being altered here. And then out of this is out of character, like like the endless staircase of in the in Mario sixty four. Yeah, no, that no, would be uh, that, that, would that would still be, be uh, um, okay. enchantment or uh, illusion. Uh, that'd be conjuration or uh, illusion because conjuration you could actually warp space like that. Okay. Well, and, yeah. Yeah. An illusion would make would make the appearance of it. That's her. All right. Um, I will then roll to identify a spell that is already placed and in effect. Because I can obviously see the, see the aura. That counts as knowing that it's there. Ciao, 31. <sighs> you know, as you're doing this and, and trying to decipher the... Uh, Meaningful I'm literally just script. Standing there and looking around. Yep, you're literally just standing there looking around, thinking contemplatively. As Karsh just kind of floats up. Huh. Reverse gravity. No. Uh, I mean, he, he goes up good ways, but then he just starts to slowly fall. Hello, Karsh. There an issue? Um, uh, well, I, I saw a bug. Kind of spooked me. Kind of jumped. I'm really spooked. 20, oh. 20 <laughs> feet in the air? Uh, yeah, I, I didn't expect to go this high. I, saw I jump. I, saw I jump. It started me. You jump. Congratulations, Saldern. So, you jump, and you rock it up towards the ceiling. Woo! Yeah! Um. <laughs> Humorless fox. All right. Just will, jump, it'll be okay. I will walk out to the ledge, look around to see if there's another ledge for, within jumping distance. Of space jumping distance. No. I fucking hate you, people. But, but, uh, Taldern seems to flicker out of existence for a bit. Uh, excuse me? That's a good start. Just, 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 it's okay. It's okay. Just roll with it. Excuse me? Oh. I'm, look, I'm already dead. You're not dead. <laughs> I'm already dead. Taldern is dead. <laughs> Goodbye, everyone. Bye. Was it just like a flash of conjuration or something there? No. Um, so, what do I see from my perspective? We'll get to that in a minute. What are you doing, uh, Roger? Of course. Endless I'm just gonna go ahead and roll that, to... just in case. I always have to use my esoteric bullshit. Roger, Roger walks back to where Taldern was, rumbling about this and that, using bullshit spells and whatnot. Please tell me I hear it. Never just including a fucking instruction manual or having a password. Or well, I mean, this kind of thing is the dumb password. Like that. No, the Can't password. just, like, fucking make things easy for once. Well, of course Can't not. We got magic, arc. why make That'd things be easy? Too easy? And Roderick will also jump. Please tell me I hit him on the way down. <laughs> Actually, you're not falling down. Oh, I'm not? I just keep going up? Did I jump no. that hard? Kind just, of, but no. Just, just go just, into just, the... Show a fucking signet ring. Can I? Goddamn cock weasels. <laughs> Can I? Yeah. Okay. So, Taldern sees this first. But, um, when you, uh, go up to the, uh, when you jump up, you just kind of, there's a brief flash, and suddenly... 
You're in a uh, very wide and high arching room. Yeah, it looks like there's a party going on. Um, Pop it, through and then sudden confetti and streamers. Do I land on the floor, I guess? Yeah, yeah you oh, land okay. on the floor. Oh, uh, when you, uh, uh, Roderick, when you get in there, uh, Taldern, uh, I'm going to assume that you haven't moved yet, and, uh, yeah. as you go up, you just flicker, and suddenly, uh, Taldern's sitting on your head, and then confetti and streamers. Wait, so, I'm sitting on Roderick's head. Uh, I get off of him. Roger continues to look displeased. <laughs> Cars pops in a few seconds later. Who's a happy puppy? Who's a happy puppy? I'm a happy puppy, motherfucker. <laughs> so, who's who's the party for? Who's going on vacation? Your mother. Anyways, I'll scratch Cars behind the ears and look around. I'm gonna whisper right. to Roderick. I'm gonna whisper to Roderick. I say we kill everyone in here. Of course you do. You do that every time. Anyway, oh, just a little um, bundle of murder and sociopathy. Anyways, only for today. No, not only for today. So, as you guys are just chilling here, um. Definitely looks like there's a bit of a party. There's cheering, there's laughter. Just a bunch of good hullabaloo. Hullabaloo. That's a word I haven't seen used in a long time. Not exactly empty, but it looks like it could definitely use a few more people to really get things kicking. Right. I will walk on out. See if I recognize anyone. Well... At first, you really don't recognize anyone. But after a bit of perusing and carousing, just... As I'm sure Roderick wouldn't do, enjoying the life of the party. Um... As somebody taps you on the shoulder. Yes? It's... It looks to be a half elf, just rather, rather well. He definitely looks well off. Uh, as you turn to meet him, by Jove, it is you, Roderick. How have you been? It's been for it's been a few days since I've seen you last. What with the uh, that mysterious order from well, the order. You would know this man as a uh, colleague, um, one of your better friends. Um, his name is Anders. Anders? Yeah. All right. Yes, um, it has been a handful of days. I was assigned to dealing with a problem down in a, near in a nearby city. It's a f small fishing town. Being plagued by I... some fog and floods. Oh. Well, that'd be the one that this lighthouse is next to, isn't it? Isn't it? Yes. I'm going to what? strangle whoever decided not to tell anyone about the fucking lighthouse. Well, to be honest, I... uh, I've... I've sent out a few uh, messages myself, and... Nobody really knew about this place. Really? Really. Oh, seems to be a recent addition, or... Seems to be a recent addition. Either that, or these... People have... Really known how to keep a secret. It sounds like a tax evasion scheme. So it's old. Someone... Someone's bad at sending letters. Or someone's just an eccentric douchebag. Right then. I'd vote Anyways. for the latter. One of them. Anyways. Who is the Rustball Company? Colleagues? 
Say what? Who is the rest of our company? Colleagues? Um, no, actually. They're, uh... These people are from the town, just under the cliff. Um, they came up here because of something about flooding. I assume that's why you're here, to handle the flooding and whichever else needed done. Yes. We're dealing with a Sahagan problem. Even if they are not directly responsible for the flooding, it will at least help to ease the situation. They seem to have taken up the trade of raiders and bandits. Mm. And always a sad, sh always a sad show. Those sort. No, oh, well. Things come go. Indeed. Well, anyway, uh, I guess since you're here, enjoy the show. Is a show is being planned. Well, no, I mean, enjoy the party. Oh, well. Oh, well. Did you see anything about other towers being around? Other towers? You know, it's probable. But I don't know about any of the... Like, like I said before, nobody knew about this one. Or at least, nobody knew and was willing to say anything about it. Right. My guess is that it, this is one of those little secret beaches, if you will. Possible. I'm assuming you all came in through the same way that I did. <laughs> oh, no. Wait. Yeah, no, no. No? What's the name of the uh, fish? What was the name of the town that this tower was nearby? I don't quite remember. Uh, Just go with Floodbrook or something. No, no. Petravia. Petragia, right. Via. V. Petravia. Yes. Yeah. I entered near the lighthouse located near Petrovia, a small fishing, fishing town. You'd know that Petrovia is not a small fishing town. It's actually one of the major ports of the area. It's just been really fucking flooded, so it's been turned into a town. I don't know. I'm, I'm talking from a... Compar <laughs> I'm speaking from comparison. He That's probably fair. probably knows what Petrovia is. Coming yeah. from Pretoria, it's a little swamp village near here. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so it was a, it was a bit larger than a small fishing town, but recent events uh, changed its status. Anyways. Indeed, indeed. Uh, I'm assuming you went in through the same area, yeah? Well, uh... I did, but I can't say that the rest of them have. So this tower connects to different entrances. It's quite possible. By the way, uh, I don't believe we've met no one. Uh, I am Anders. Like I am Taldern. Hand. I am Taldern, wielder of lightning, and he will ex he will shake the guy's hand. I still He's think he who walks well. in the lightning is much better. But anyway. So, yeah, uh, the pleasure is mine. Yes, this, this is Taldon, one of the uh, others who have been hired by the Church of St. Cuthbert in the town to help deal with the saga problem. I see. So what? this problem has gained both the attention of the Arcane and the Divine. Yes, it is a rather major event. Mm, indeed. It is for the town. Yes, yeah, so well, traveling with the... Uh, Barbarian of sorts and a actual an actual cleric. We had a ha, we had a half orc who was uh, of a more urban persuasion, but he he ran in a foul of some of these hogan we were we were dealing with at the time. He died. All right. Yes. Well, he takes uh, your current bluntless 
a bluntness. Uh, a bit hard. He's like, ooh, uh, that's quite the uh, quite the tale. Mm. Well, but it's an endeavor. It certainly must be, if uh, compatriots are falling. Well, I uh, I trust the same won't happen to you. I would hope not. Also, have you ever seen a llama on a boat? Little hat. It's rather a peculiar sight. Now that just sounds silly. Yes, well, the uh, barbarian seems to be a bit touched in the head. Mm-hmm. She is a is half orc and prone and prone to her uh, fits of rage, of fitting one of her strengths, and she seems to carry around a llama. Like carry it on her shoulders. Actually, I believe the llama is mine because I paid her for that. Oh, that's right. Well, actually, she still actually carries around the bloody llama at times. Hmm. It's actually mine. I bought it off of her because I needed something to ride. Yes, fair. What? The... It's I rather... suppose the llama is fitting ride for one of your stature? Are you calling me short? Uh, no, he's calling you a halfling. I know. Well, I will the little shoe fits. Anyway. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> yes, the uh, our outrider friend of sorts has some peculiar animals and possessions. Regardless. <sighs> If I don't mind asking, how did you end up here? Oh, me? No, uh, Elder. Anders. Anders. Um, Anders, he chuckles for a bit. Well, I used to have family here. But they seem to have, they seem to have left before my, uh, my home was... Suddenly, beachfront property. <laughs> right. So, it is an unusual occurrence for a sea to act like this. Yes, quite. I've been looking into it myself, and I haven't come up with anything quite yet as to why it would do that. But, I'm sure that you and the, the thick of everything... You'll come to a conclusion better than I will. After all, a book's musty pages can only take you so far. Sometimes you just Someone gotta give it a brief with... force. Someone always did have to do something worth writing. Indeed. Right then. I... If you don't mind me, I'm going to... Ask around. See how if anyone else came through through the same entrance. Alright. In the meantime, I'm going to enjoy some more of this fine drink. That was quiet. And I will go get... I'm going to go get myself. throwing this party? You know... Honestly, I couldn't tell you. The atmosphere is infectious. I just couldn't help myself but to enjoy some of the festivities. Hmm. Or withdraw a pearl of a zero level pearl of power. Recharge my uh, detect magic, cast again, and start looking around. Well, I mean, there's plenty of magic going around. Um. There's some create food and drink, there's some water to wine nonsense, there's some, uh, uh, a little bit of dancing lights on the ceiling, just something to liven the place up. Um, there's, a magic mouth on several of the statues around, which are singing, uh, synonymously, uh, 
synonymous wow that's not even the right fucking word synonymously no, synchronized they are synchronized in their singing um it but their melodies together create well They're singing harmonically there we go that's the word i was looking for god i'm an idiot singing all right synonyms. singing synonyms it's a good band name actually singing synonyms i can see it all kinds of fun I'm not getting any uh, auras that would suggest, like, conjuration or demi planes or whatnot, right? Um, well, I mean, the little circle that you uh, just popped in on when you came in, I mean, that's definitely a... Uh... Circle of teleportation? Effectively. So, we can assume that this tower connects to one of many towers. It's very possible. Well, yes, but it is a interesting theory. <sighs> Anders, I do believe someone has quite a good bit of effort into this whole partying room. Indeed. Can I make a sense I think about it. Can I make a sense motive check? Like, just about the general atmosphere. Uh, sense motive works on one person. Okay, uh, what is ins Well, we don't have insight, so I don't know. Well, sense motive doesn't necessarily work on one person, but only works on one thing. So what are you trying to ascertain about the atmosphere would be a better question. If... If the atmosphere is kind of off, like, not that... I guess, to put it bluntly, kind of like, kind of like in the Percy Jackson movie, from when they go to the casino, and they're stuck in there for a while because they keep eating the flowers, because they keep eating the lotus blossom stuff. Like that someone is like, keeping the, magically keeping the party going. Ah, uh, that, that's actually, it's actually core uses of sense motive. Um, that would be Hunter's sense uh, enchantment, uh, which is really a fish. Huh. So if he's actually doing I, something that makes sense. I am speechless. Yeah. I, I am, yeah. Go Zeph. So, oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> well, to be guess, honest, more like. the... Go ahead and give me your uh, sense motive then. Okay. Nine. <laughs> Damn it! I tried. It was a long shot. It was. Well, it's such a beautiful long shot, though. <laughs> you think it's here? You think that this party's going so that uh, puppies can stay cute? Okay, I don't think I'm that dumb, but whatever. <laughs> you think it's you think it's the going on holiday party for Hideo Kojima? <laughs> <laughs> no, right now it's the party for Death Standing <laughs> and and naked Norman Reedus. <laughs> why don't you just why don't you find? Like one of the one of the drunker patrons and asked like him or her, you know, someone where a failed role wouldn't really matter. Yeah. By the way, Anders, you wouldn't happen to be in the market for Sahagan eggs, would you? <laughs> no, I'm on a I'm... diet. <laughs> I'm not going to put them into common circulation, but there are plenty who I would sell them to and. Guild out of trust. Look, they call him Dr. Eggman for a reason. I don't, I don't think anyone oh calls him Oh my that. god, if Andrew actually, actually called that. No, no, no. <laughs> he only calls himself no. that in the bedroom, and you shouldn't, have, you shouldn't know that, actually. How do you know that? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> anyway. Unfortunate rooming setup. So, yeah. Uh, anyway, um, the... Uh, 
The half elf uh, shakes his head but gives a small chuckle. You know better than I do that uh, that our uh, introductory uh, uh, our introductory teacher at the uh, school that we both went to uh, definitely had a thing for exotic eggs. Uh, but that was back in Tanbul. Yes, or not Tanbul. Not Tanbul. Fucking Parcelite. Well, I figured I'd ask you first. He was always somewhat of a creepy twat. Hey. Look, man. Yes. Just like eggs. I don't choose what he does with those eggs. He just really likes eggs. Yeah, but Look, they call him Dr. Eggman because he's a shape. Not most, Dr. Avocado, Dr. Grape. Most people just eat them. That's all I'm saying. But no judgment. Right. I'll see that the ship to him at some point. If they do not hatch first. Fuck. This is why I hate dealing with eggs. Uh, give me a knowledge nature. Right. Uh, or not nature. Person. Local. I can do solid. that if you need me to. Uh, no, I got it. Local 35. All right. Uh, you'd know that um, in your current, in their current environment, which a, which is a pocket dimension, uh, the eggs won't last very long. Like a day tops. Well, fuck. You could always make omelets. You do, you do know that um, if you were to keep them moist, um, or super, okay, then I um, can't of endless water. We can just continuously put water on them whenever we need to. Zevi, please let me finish. Okay. Submerging them would work. But they definitely prefer to be damp, like moist, not drenched. How about a wet towel? How long does it take the hog and eggs to hatch? Anywhere from three to six months. Well, fuck. Just wet a right. towel and. Like, carry them around like a baby. In the wet towel. Actually, kind of what I was thinking. Yeah, see? See? Style of thought. How far of a distance is, uh, I can't pronounce the name of your fucking town's fish? Parcelite? Parcelite. How far is Parcelite from here? Uh, Parcelite is the, uh, capital of this county um it's a uh it's north of el Cid and tanbul and a bit more to the east than tanbul which is the eastmost that you've gone and ironically enough the northmost huh. it's about a couple of days away from tanbul all right well, assuming I don't have babies to hog and running around in my fucking pack. Oh, that'd be unfortunate. Hatched eggs and a uh, suffocated baby to hog and... Uh, <laughs> yeah, but they would, uh, be well, they would be well preserved. We could still sell them. Ugh. I, mean, I apologize. I'll leave for a second. I had to go see what was outside. It's an airless environment? No. <sighs> Anyways. All right, so I will then go around and for the next around hour or so, essentially ask people, like start up a small conversation, uh, ask how they got in. All right, gather information. Hold on, I need. I'll be right back. Fuck. Mm. Meanwhile, bought a cup. Um, after trying and failing to do very good things with your carpentry skills, they eventually end up telling, just making you the gopher. The what? Go for this, go for that. Oh, yeah. 
Actually, can I can I use detect magic and detect magic on the food? Uh, or I the mean, drinks? Or the drinks? Or anything? Well, I mean, I already gave you that they were there by create food and water. Yeah. Oh, I mean, okay. dragged along to breakfast. I have okay. got to go. Oh. Well, son of a bitch. All right. Monica, Wait. Does... Breakfast at almost fucking noon? I think yeah, you think really brunch. weird. Don't judge. I uh, no, they said breakfast. I don't, don't, don't feel like arguing with him. Anyways, I get going. Judge. Okay. I hopefully I'll be back. Yeah. See. Me, buttercup, okay. Buttercup, okay. Buttercup I will just, kill oh everything in your. I will kill everything in your absence. That includes Anders. Buttercup. What were you saying? Well, buttercup just pulls a weasel out of a magic bag and starts playing with that. One of the dudes says, Hey, get back to work. Nah. I'll just entertain the children that haven't drowned yet. Okay. With the, with the weasel. Hey, I tried helping. I didn't, it didn't work, so whatever. Hey, this helps me forget that my parents both drowned. <laughs> Told you so. Well, goddamn. We've lost everybody. Except for you and Zeppi. I guess today's just a bad day for this. Yeah, apparently it's Father's Day or something. People have fathers. I don't get that. I don't have one. Right. Well. I suppose we could just call this this for now. Oh, okay. Wait, Ben's typing. Wait, what? Wait. Bad you want to just end it here? Bad typing and Skype. Bad Skyping. Skype type type Skype, Skype he's typing. Sk he's Skype typing. Yes, that's so, the where you So we're in a magical tower that may or may not uh, have something suspicious going on with this party. Probably hasn't. It's probably just a weird party. It might be, but I'm still suspicious of it. <laughs> Always be suspicious of everything. <laughs> Why? Like that weasel. The weasel is perfectly fine. No, that right. weasel is suspicious. Because after, right. after 10 minutes, the weasel will disappear, and instead, I will pull out a cat. Cool. I have nothing else to do. I have, I have no help to these people whatsoever. Um, You could nope. go into the town and see if you can sell some stuff. What, what town? There's no town left. It's underwater. Oh. It's flooded. The people are all on the cliff. They're building a new town on the cliff, I guess. Oh. God damn it, Zeffy. Well, surely there's got to be a market or somewhere. Like, a market somewhere for the purposes of having a market right now. How, what? Those people escaped from a, a literally sinking town. I don't think they have a market up yet, because that would make no sense. No, they, they don't. Sleeping places, not a market. Unless there's one guy who just goes, well, there has to be a place for capitalism first. We really need to figure out the salute pile. <laughs> we have time for that. Nothing of, the, with the except, exception of the Sohagen eggs, nothing in there will spoil or hatch or eat us. How many rings can I wear at one time? One on each hand. Two. Two on each hand. No, one. One on each hand. You two in. Two all in all. Don't ask why. It's some some magic excuse <laughs> bullshit that they would just. I don't know. It's two rings. Um. I would. T I'm gonna take the ring of featherfall, and then when we, uh, when we do our new levels, I um, can uh get rid of my featherfall spell that I know, yeah. and then. Get a new one. Probably. So, I will take the Ring of Featherfall. Um, how often does that work? Like, once per day? Should say on the item description thing. There is no item description. There's a wiki for that kind of thing. Ring of Featherfall. Ah. Let's see. 3.5? Yeah. 
I mean, you, you could find it somewhere, bet, but usually it's like... I got it. Usually I found like, it. Yeah, usually it's like a limit per day for that sort of thing. Uh, it acts exactly like a feather fall spell and act activated immediately if the wearer falls more than five feet. Oh, cool. It's like a passive effect? Yeah. That's cool. pretty cool, then. Cool, so yeah, it's, it's it'll... Like, it might bite you in the ass if you want to fall quickly somewhere. Well, that's when you just take the ring off. <laughs> well, it would be fun if you're, like, on a slide. Or we have to we oh. Or we have to escape an explosion or something. Oh we shit! Oh, quick dive, quick dive all the way, and then you dive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Buttercup will just no. enter Buttercup will entertain the orphans and soon-to-be orphans of this drowning and dying town. Cause she's nice that way. Okay, cool. Where where did the orcs go, by the way? The orcs are being orky. They're tending to the ship. Oh. You mean eating it? No. Fighting it? They're probably fighting it. Probably. Ugh, the worst. Treasure! Gems! Okay, you know what? Uh, since Buttercup is basically of no help in building anything, and there's a, like, a time, like, a time limit on those animals. After another 10 minutes, when the cat disappears, she shoos the kids away and just goes to sleep. Just rolls out her, her sleeping mat and lies down and snores away. Hey, fish. Okay, cool. What's up? For the gems that we haven't priced that are in our, that are in our loot pile, uh, do you want me to roll for the value or just take the average value? That's an appraise. Okay. But anyway, what we'll deal with all this later. Okay. For the meantime, I guess we're done. Uh, ah, fine. Yes, we can't do anything. I oh, mean, what? we're short, like, four people. Yeah. I'll step crystal polyhedral dice. Someone was playing D&D &D inside of D&D. &D. Yeah, you can do it. <gasps> well, okay. Well, I'm going to stop the recording then. Okay. Uh, who, who took the healer's kit? Do we know? Uh, mm -hmm. You could give it to me. I have heal trained. You do? I think so. What is mine? Um, yeah, mine I, is... I don't have any bonuses. I don't so. have a train, but I do have I do have a plus two. It's better than my plus zero. Yeah. Give it to me. Okay. So put that in your leap pile. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Healers kit. Might as well have it. Um, I will take the smoke stick. You never know when you'll need that. <laughs> no, you can't smoke that, right? Smoke weed every day. Actually, seeing how we haven't really leveled up yet, I may as well put a rank in heal. Do I have a grappling hook? Do I have a grappling hook? I do not have a grappling hook. I will take that grappling hook. <laughs> Alright then, I'm going to stop the recording here though. Okay, that's fine. Okay.